and welcome back to our second video called List for Sorting. And in this video, we're going to show you a couple of things. One, how to concatenate. And secondly, how to create a macro and to make that macro work using a button. So concatenation, if we have a look at our spreadsheet here, is all about joining two words together. So in the student name, we want to have Benjamin Abraham in here. So to concatenate, we'll put an equal sign in because it is a formula and or an inbuilt function. And we're going to click in here and you probably won't have concatenate. So I would put in concat and it will turn up. Click concatenate, click insert. And what you'll need to do is you want to click on Benjamin first, put a comma, space bar, and then a speech mark with a space and a second speech mark because we want there to be a gap between the first name and the second. Then in text two, click on Abraham and you'll see the result is down here. Benjamin with a space, Abraham and click done. Okay, so we, like we've done before, we've got our little red square here. Hover over that, hold the left finger down and drag all the way down to the bottom of this table. So we are filling down and we let go. And there we have all of the names. So that is concatenation and deselect. Okay, the next thing we want to do is to create a macro. And as I've said earlier, a macro is recording the keystrokes. So we're going to record how to sort. And we're going to be sorting both ascending and descending on the surname as well as on the house. So to do that, what we do is this. We go to our developer tab and we look for record macro. Yours, if you are using Windows, will be a little different, but go to your developer tab and you'll see it in there. Now, what we need to do is to record a macro and we come up with these generic names, macro one, macro two. I'm going to call this one name underscore and you'll need an underscore if you've got more than one word. And I'm going to call this descending, D-E-S-C. You can leave these, click OK, and you'll see that it has turned to stop recording. And that's what we'll click on when we want to stop recording. So. Here we go. We're going to highlight from D to H. That highlights the columns. We go to data and sort. We look for surname. There are lots of them here, but we want surname, values and Z to A and click OK. And you'll see that it's up here. We're on Zado. Right. I want to deselect. So I'm going to click out here. And that's the end of our recording. So I need to click on stop recording. Now, once we've done that, we go to a button and click. And we need to associate the button to the macro. So to do that, we simply click on name descending and click OK. I'm going to position, resize, rename and I do that by clicking my left button and holding for a part a short while use the arrow keys delete everything there and put descending deselect and we have that so we need to test it now so what I'm going to do I'm going to highlight all of these I'm going to go back to data back to sort and this time do it A to Z. So I'm essentially undoing what I've gone and done. Okay, so deselect. If I click on descending, we should see on the surname column, Z is up here. So click and we do. So that's the first one done. So the next thing I want to do is to do ascending for student name and descending and ascending on the house. So I'm going to work my way through those macros and buttons. 
I will speed up the video, but you can pause it at any time you want. And I'll see you once I've gone and done that. Okay, so what we've gone and done in this video, we've done concatenation. We've gone and used macros for sorting and ascending on house and surname. So remind yourself about that or go and do it again if it's going to help you to learn it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.